Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 18 of Hearts of Iron 4. We are still trying to get Africa cleared up. Uh, we're using our light tank army to do that. We're not doing too bad of a job. We've mostly got rid of Great Britain. There's a little bit left down here, as well as South Africa, of course. Not too sure if we'll bother going across to, uh, to Madagascar to clear out France. I might consider it. I really don't want to lose my tank divisions, though. And um, we definitely want to try and take everything else in Africa that we can. Uh, the AI is still trying to get a few naval invasions uh, going. It does every now and then manage to land a few troops, but we keep pushing them back, and I shall continue to do so. It's his manpower that he's wasting. In the meantime, we are trying to build up some divisions of... Um, we don't need to keep training all these guys up, actually. Uh, but we are trying to build up some divisions of uh, paratroopers so that we can go and do some stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and take all of these uh, infantry that are fully trained and um, put you in a new army. And we will call you the, um, uh, the reserve reserves because I think I'm just making too many units now. Uh, we will give you a uh, general. Again, most of our generals are very much... Um, well, we could give you a field marshal. We'll do that. So you guys don't need to train. And um, that's fine. We'll give you a different colour, of course. Because you, you're all starting to look a little bit alike at the minute. Let's give you white. There we go. Um, we are short of something else. Unfulfilled import requests. Um, probably from the Soviet Union. Insufficient resources from Brazil. So you can't supply us with those anymore. So we'll get them from Siam. That should sort that problem out. Thank you very much. Uh, Italy did declare war on Greece. It does look like they are making gains over there. So that is fine. Uh, Italy did get rid of the United Kingdom from the north of Saudi Arabia. They uh, haven't managed to take um, Cyprus yet. Don't know whether or not they will. They've almost got France out from next to Turkey. Of course, the United Kingdom do, do still uh, hold some land down here, which we'll need to deal with. Although, look at Japan. Japan are actually flooding troops into Africa at the moment. And if Japan can come and help me by providing some of their naval forces... See, I'd love to get down here and be able to help them against the British Raj, which we could possibly do if we can get through Iran. If we can bring our tanks through and attack British Raj from this side. Um, what we can, well, we actually, we can go through the uh, go through the Soviet Union, and we can go and attack British Raj. Possibly, in fact, no, I don't think they have a border because they're blocked by Afghanistan. Um, but then we could just go into British Raj and. Uh, help out with that. I mean, Siam's getting gobbled up here at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how that one's going to work out. Now then, I have told uh, Rommel to attack. It says he's active, but he's mainly scratching his butt. Now then, why can't you guys move? I was going to say, because I know for a fact you do actually have at least some degree of uh, what's the word I'm looking for organization and supply we're just going to try and eat our way in here cause some damage where we can but yeah if we can uh, if we can get rid of the British Raj and actually help um, help Japan uh, Japan might be able to send the Navy round to help us get to Britain. But it's just getting troops here. That's the problem. Field hospital is done. Can we work on those new weapons yet? We can. So let's work on weapons three. As quick as possible. So if we were to have a spare army, let's say we wanted to use the reserve reserves. Could we get you over here? You would try and get there by basically marching all the way around Mongolia. Which would take just short of forever. Um, stop, I don't want you to do that. I was just trying to check things out. So if we could get open borders with Iran, it's unlikely it's going to happen because he doesn't like me. Um, ask for military access. Yeah, it wouldn't give me military access because he doesn't like me. 
Um, let's boost our um, party popularity over there, shall we? Well, of course, the other option is we could just attack him. I mean, how strong is he? He First of all, he doesn't have any allies. Secondly, he... Oh, I don't know. He's probably got about 45 divisions. Which is not insignificant. Of course, I could call um, the Soviets in to help if I did declare war on him. Hmm. Interesting, really, how I want to do that. So they could just march an army over there to try and try and do that for me, but not necessarily sure it's a good idea. Uh, Soviet Union annexes uh, Tanutuva. In a press release earlier today, Moscow announced the former the formal annexation of Tano Tuva. The Supreme Soviet agreed for a request from the Tuvan Parliament for membership of the USSR. The small Tuvan People's Republic, which had only been officially recognized by the Soviet Union and Mongolia, will be organized as an autonomous oblast. Justification war goals. So Soviet Union. Oh, the Soviet Union is justifying against us. That is very interesting. The United States is justifying against uh, justifying against us, but we're already at war with the United States anyway. So that doesn't really matter too much. I'm hoping the Soviets don't turn against us. They really could do. We want to get British Raj out here. Do we want to get an army down on Turkey's borders? Let's let's say for the time being that we do. So who have we got up here that's spare? Well, the Lowlands Front, you guys aren't really doing an awful lot, are you? So, let's go and... Get you on a Rand's border, if we can. Cannot draw a front line here. But we can draw a front line here. So, let's move you there. And we will um, justify war goals on you. Um, it doesn't really matter because we want to just sort of take everywhere. Obviously, we can pick multiple, I believe. Well, we don't want it to take too long. We just we just want to attack and then move in. So we'll start justifying that war goal. Mr. Soviet, sir, why, uh, why you no like me all of a sudden? Oh, we've got 100%, so why are you justifying against me? You can't really improve relations anymore. You are in your own faction, of course. Um, let's try and um, turn him fascist. See what happens. It'll probably never work. Uh, what's, what, hang on. What's he, what's he doing there? War with Japan. That'll be interesting. <laughs> because we're all on the same side at the moment. Italy is still winning against Greece. I haven't had a look down here at um, Africa for a while. Yeah, you see, we've got a lot of units down here that are just not moving. Because they've just got, like, no orders. Constantly having to babysit units. You move in there. Signal Company 2's done. Fantastic. Let's go and start working on support weapons. We're almost down to uh, Belgium here, which is very, very good. Why do you still have units in there, um, Great Britain? You shouldn't have. Not too sure where it is you're trying to make your way into, but that's fine. Uh, that wasn't what I intended to do. I wanted to get this tank down here. So let's uh, move through and grab some of these. Yeah, it's all looking very, very good now. Obviously, there's still a few British forces down here, but we will get, get them out eventually. You want to come down here as well. Good stuff. How are we doing on factories? We've actually got a um, got some spare, to be honest. Um, let's start working on some more transport planes. And some more fighters. They could all have some work done to them. Uh, that means we're now short of rubber again. Floating airfield is done. Are we short of something else as well? We're short of oil because, of course, we are. We can't get any more from the Soviet Union. No, it looks like we're all good. 
So that was some uh, doctrine done. We've pretty much, well, we haven't finished our naval doctrine. We can still go down these. Let's go for the um, con convoy introduction as well. Raiding co coordination. I, I kept thinking those trees were mutually exclusive for some reason, which is why I hadn't been putting stuff in the other trees. It's my own fault, really. Um, we do have some more paratroopers now. We've got these guys. You guys are all trained up, so you can go ahead and join the reserve reserves. But yeah, we will have to try and drop our uh, paratroopers. How are we doing? Uh, I mean, I guess we don't have air superiority over the channel in any way, shape, or form. Um, right, we finished our justification there. Um, how many fighters do we have here? I think the game's just crashed. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, we really just want want fighters. Let's go ahead and get rid of the um, tactical bombers from here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the um, close air support. So we just want to get as many fighters here as possible. And um, let's put a lot more factories into them. We're not working on tactical bombers anymore, which is fine. Close air support is also filled, so we're just trying to work on a lot of fighters. We want to try and get some sort of control over here, but if we have a look at um, at England, the United Kingdom, and um, details, just look how many planes they have. Thousands and tens of thousands of planes. So that is going to be tricky. Um, we've got an available war, which we will work on very soon. Um, let's go and work on infantry anti-tank. Not that we're really fighting against many tank um, units. Uh, we have got down there onto that line, so we are going to go and declare our war here. Uh, we're already at war with the UK anyway, so it makes no difference. We will call in our allies, because then the Soviets will help out. And um, what we want to do is get the right army, which is... The Lowlands Front. You guys are no longer the Lowlands Front, but, you know, you do what you can. And you guys are going to work your way across there. And I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to say YOLO your way through that. So if we can go ahead and get get through here, then we'll have a border with British Raj and we'll be able to attack them from that side. That's kind of the plan that I'm going for here. Uh, what about military factories? Yeah, we're still waiting on a few. Some have no doubt been destroyed. So that's fine. And um, we are still making ground here, I suppose. Little bits and pieces at a time. Okay, you guys just all push into a single province. It'll help. You guys stop running off. You all move down here. You guys move into there. There we go. Let's not have to do everything manually. Oil was short of again. Let's go to Venezuela. So very, very close to um, clearing up Africa. So the big, the big, big problem with Africa is the lack of supply. That's what causes the biggest issue. Uh, Hungary want to send us six divisions. We really just don't need them right now. Obviously, we've got some uh, airplane available planes in reserves, which we knew we had anyway. Uh, United States is justifying against us. Soviets are no longer doing that, which is good. Are we, uh, are we actually managing to push in here? Oh, they actually pushed back. Oh, no, we actually control this. It's just because it's almost the same colour. But we are pushing our way in, which is brilliant. As soon as we can get these guys out. But, yeah, we've got the Soviets helping, which is why I wanted to call them into the war. So that they would actually have to help. Because they're attacking on this front as well. So, I mean, if we wanted to, we could go after the likes of Afghanistan and whatnot, but I'd sooner just be able to attack British Raj from the west. That's kind of the, the whole point of declaring that war. It would be nice if we could take you guys out, but I'm not convinced we're going to get in there. I would like, I should have let those guys get out, actually. Because what I want to do is move in here and try and take some of your, um, your provinces that you're not really guarding. Oh, well, never mind. Not too much of a problem. We have managed to, um... Cut some of these units off a little bit more. How about you guys get in there? 
and we'll just keep the pressure on where we can right that you guys have moved out now then what province are you in because i can never tell sometimes whether these are borders or province markers you should be able to move into that province just fine it should be all right If you move in there, you'll be providing some serious support, as will you. And you're going in there, are you? Do you know what? That's not a bad idea. We'll help Italy clear that little pocket up. Um, it's still just the United States that are trying to justify against me. So I don't have too much of a problem with that. I mean, we're already at war anyway, so it's not really going to benefit them any at all. How are we doing with the power troopers? Um... You guys can stop training, I suppose. We'll take these um, reserves here, and you can go in the reserve reserves, those tanks. And, uh, yeah, you can just stop training for the time being. Because we don't need any more units that need training up. Again, another attempted naval landing quickly got thwarted. What's happening to all Japan's uh, units? Because they, they were putting a lot of units down here. They still are. But, yeah, I'm hoping Japan will actually... I mean, Japan's probably keeping America busy anyway. America's probably having quite a lot of issues with Japan. But I can't see anything going on over there. I should be able to have uh, vision on what Japan's doing. So there's that to keep in mind. So France are completely gone now from Saudi Arabia. Like I said, still a little bit of uh, the United Kingdom in there. Are those guys retreating? They are retreating. Brilliant. That's another little piece of land we've almost taken. How are we losing this battle? You guys should just be throwing everything you've got into there. You guys should be doing this. Where are you going? Oh, you're you're help, you're assisting that advance, are you? Okay, that's fine. Well, we're still we're still making gains. Can't argue with that. You are still moving in there, aren't you? Yeah, you're just going really, really slowly. Going to arrive within the next ten hours. And it'll be a lot easier once we've got rid of all the little pockets and the, we'll have them in a tiny little sort of choke point and we can just sweep south. I won't have to babysit so much when that happens. So there we go. We just want to move in there. I think they've actually just starved out. So we should be able to take that quite easily. Very good. Let's go and move in here. Just take all of their valuable provinces. How's the war going? Who, what... Uh, yeah, it's definitely going in our... Uh, I love it, it's still a German-Polish war. But yeah, it's definitely going more in our favour than anywhere else. War is going 29% in favour of the aggressors. That's us. So that's not too bad. It'll all just be so much easier once we get Great Britain out of this... Uh, out of the fight. It's going to be difficult getting over there. Simply because of their navy. But we are still building up our own navy. It's not going to be a brilliant fleet. But it might be enough to keep them busy. And, um, you know, that's what I want to do. It is mainly... We've got 53 submarines and 14 destroyers. You know, which I admit is not great. But uh, we are working on battleships as well, even though they are relatively slow. What's been going on over here? We've got the Americans and the Japanese. Actually, Japanese convoys uh, getting sunk, which is what's which is what's going on. I see Australia. Is that Australia or is that New Zealand? I can never remember which flag is which. I'm going to try and trap them in there if we can. So what are we doing over here? Are we actually attempting to make a push or what? We should all be going into there. You guys should all be going into there, along with all of you guys. And all of you guys. So back you come. Factories. We still have a few that have been destroyed. Construction. Working on a few. Oh, mainly doing repairs at the moment. Repairing infrastructure. Yeah, it's mainly repairs. Repairs are not a bad thing, because repairs actually happen... Um, repairs happen faster than new buildings, but I do want to go and put those, um, new, uh, naval dockyards to the top. Uh, there's support weapons done. Can't do night vision yet. There's infantry equipment done. 
Let me just pause up because there's a few things that I want to check. Um, still ahead of time for those. Support battalions. We want to get the better recon company. And we want to... Ah. Um, yeah, you're still ahead of time. So we want the better maintenance companies as well good stuff and we just keep pushing on into africa but i think we will conclude that on another video so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you are still enjoying hearts of iron 4 i'll see you next time and until then goodbye for now